Hey everybody, in this video we are going to talk about Metacoms or King Philip's War. After watching this short video, you should be able to describe Metacoms War. That means you should be able to say what it was, why it happened, where it happened, and why it's important. So let's get started. King Philip's War happened in New England, and the Indians there were worried that the English were encroaching on their land, and in the process, devastating the environment through deforestation. And as they cut down those forests, um, that resulted in a loss of animals that the Indians relied on for hunting. Plus, the Europeans were overwhelming the Indian population. Here's some population numbers just to prove my point. By the 1670s, the English population grew to 55,000, while the Indian population went from Get this, 120,000 in 1570 to 16,000 in 1670. In this new environment, Indians tried to accommodate the English practices. They tried to raise livestock in the English fashion, but were punished for selling pigs in Boston for a price that the English considered too low. When Indians tried to become farmers and killed hogs that were destroying their crops, the Indians were prosecuted for violating in English laws. One Indian leader, a Wampanoag man named Medicom, who had a close relationship with the English, the English called him King Philip, eventually determined that the Indians would need to fight. Medicom organized a series of raids against the English in 1675 with Indian his Indian allies, the Narragansetts and the Nipmucks. The war was brutal. An English colonist, William Harris, heard that the Indians were, quote, burning houses, taking cattle, killing men, women, and children, and carrying others captive. The war stopped when the Indians began to run out of gunpowder. In the end, though, thousands of English people were killed, including perhaps as many as one sixteenth of the adult male population. So, as you could probably guess, what became known as King Philip's War had a devastating impact on Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Thousands of settlers were killed. But with the help of some of the Wampanoag's rivals who served as um, allies to the English, these Indians, the Mohegans and the Mohawks, were able to kill Medicom. They chopped off his head, paraded it through Boston. The rebellion was put down. There are a couple of important ta takeaways during uh, or from this event. First, the Indians were so successful because they were able to use flintlock muskets. And so these guns were lightweight and accurate, um, much better than the first guns that were brought to the Americas. Also, you need to know that a number of Indians died in the rebellion, just like the English. Um, some of these Indians, um, or some of the Indians that survived, they moved west and settled with their Algonquin neighbors who were allied with the French. Um, and so these uh, people who moved west, allied with these French Catholics, continued to be a thorn in the side of their Puritan New England neighbors. But finally, uh, Indian independence at this point in New England seemed impossible. So that's that. Now that you've watched this video, you should know what King Philip's War was and what were some of the important consequences of the war. Here's a random joke. What do you get when you cross a vampire and a snowman? Frostbite. Thanks for watching.